It's Father's Day. I don't know what you guys like to do on Father's Day, but like I do every holiday, I'm doing my favorite thing, planting trees, starting a food forest here. So this entire area here, this is about an acre. This all here has been handed over to me for an agroforestry project for our church. And so I figured I'd show you guys what's cooking right now. There are, this area right here was cleared by my son. He's planting some watermelons in here because why not? We've got tons of light at the beginning of the system. All through here, they cleared and left nitrogen fixing trees coming back up. So this whole area got torn down recently, bulldozed, totally just torn down to bare ground and all the trees knocked out. Now that's not the way I would have started it if I'd had my you know, saying it at the beginning, I would have said, you know, leave some of those trees so we can use them for chop and drop. But we're doing the next best thing. I am selecting around the regrowth trees and allowing them to stay in the system. So this is Lucana leucocephala, Delonyx regia, the uh, Royal Poinciana. And because we have these trees here growing back, you know, normally what the, what the locals will do is they want to, they would want to chop this entire area down again before they plant the trees and bear the soil and then turn around and burn it all. I don't want to do that. The weeds that we have here are acting like a band aid on the soil. They're keeping some moisture in, they're adding biomass, they're adding nitrogen. You know, a lot of these things, these are nitrogen fixing weeds. So that's fine. I want them. So my job is to convince everyone else not to chop everything down. <laughs> but what I'm doing here is cutting pathways through and then just working in certain areas. So like right here, we have a um, stinking toe tree. This is a leguminous tree used by Indians through uh, Central America, through the Caribbean. It's got a very nutritious edible flower inside the pods. See, there's more Anytime we see one of these nitrogen fixers, what we're doing is just freeing the base of it up, cutting the weeds around it, because these are going to get up to six foot, and then we're going to pollard them. This is a medicinal tree. Extra points if anybody can guess what that tree is. It's kind of a cool, rather an obscure tree, actually. Here is a soursop, and you can see... The weeds are a resource. So, you know, down here we plant the tree, you water it, put cardboard down, and then around the cardboard, pile up all that, all that weed mass. So that's gonna act like a weed block. It's gonna keep that tree moist in the root zone there. And this being the beginning of the rainy season, this is a good time to start this. But all we did was, you know, instead of clearing the whole thing, we just cut these two foot wide, or so pathways, and then as we see nice nitrogen fixing trees, like these Royal Poinciana's, we just clear around them, let them grow, let them grow up above the weed mix. So there's a citrus right here. And if we walk around here, there's a cow over there. You guys have cows on the side yard of your church? If not, you're missing out. This is another hill here. This is how I plant jackfruit. Make a little ring, plant some seeds in there. There's five or six seeds in there. I'll select out my favorite. The jackfruit doesn't like transplanting, so I plant them directly in the ground. Ice cream bean that I started from seed. Inga edulis, or one of its cousins. I'm not sure for sure it's edulis, but it makes a good edible fruit, so who cares? You see, these little pathways. We could just keep these pathways up, let the rest of the ground be covered. It doesn't matter. I don't even know where this pathway is going. I don't even know why I'm here. What is going on here? Oh, wait a minute. I'm back at the stinking toe. What am I doing? All right, over here. So there's corn hills and stations, and I planted nitrogen fixing trees in with them. Looks like this corn actually didn't get planted. There, you're planted now. This is an erythrina seed right here, erythrina popigiana. Really nice tree. Star apple started from seed. My kids and I planted this along with a friend of ours that came out. Just kind of a informal thing. I want to show that you can 
build a system like this without having to invest in much in the way of infrastructure, without having to have meetings or a committee or a founding nonprofit. All you need is some elbow grease and a few trees. This is a Juanacaste tree. The Juanacaste is uh, Costa Rica's national tree. And it is a really, really big, awesome, awesome nitrogen fixing tree. It gets like 80 feet tall and it makes incredible lumber. You get great big slabs of it for tables and that sort of thing. And this tree here will help fill this area up, but it's really just kind of cool, a cool tree to put in. And you can roast the seeds and eat them as well. Plus, it's just cool. So we just had to put a guanacaste in here. But this whole rest of the area, you know, this will get filled in later. It's about an acre and just getting a start on it now. And if we just come by here after church every Sunday and we do a little bit of work, bit by bit it fills up. And if we don't cut all this life out of it, if we don't burn it, it's just gonna keep building biomass. It'll keep the soil moist. And we can use that for chop and drop for organic matter. And then over time we'll select out and get our trees going. But that's what I'm doing on my Father's Day. Hope you guys have a good Father's Day. Catch y'all next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green.